Hi, my name is David. Hi everyone, my name is Julia. And I'm Eunice. Hi, I'm Courtney. And I'm Ladasia. And I'm Clara. And we are the Colgate Interns. So here's our spark project. What are we making today? Elephant toothpaste. What is elephant toothpaste? Basically, we're just gonna be making a chemical reaction occur. So what is a chemical reaction? This is a process that leads from one substance to a totally new one. The substance that is reacting is called the reactant, and the substance that is newly formed is called the product. For example, below we have a chemical reaction starting with four atoms of iron and three molecules of oxygen, and when combined, these can be formed into two molecules of iron oxide, but there are numerous types of chemical reactions. In our demo, the reactants will be hydrogen peroxide and yeast, and the products will be two water molecules and oxygen. Here's Clara explaining more about this reaction. Hi, I'm going to explain to you what's gonna be happening in our elephant toothpaste demo. We're gonna be starting with a reactant. In this case, H2O2, or hydrogen peroxide, is this reactant. But before the reaction could keep going, we need a catalyst. And a catalyst is something that speeds up the reaction or helps it go faster. In this specific case, we're using yeast as our catalyst, which you can find in the baking aisle of your supermarket. With the help of this catalyst, the H2O2 is going to break down into water, and the excess oxygen that's left over is going to make our soap bubbles. And that is how the elephant toothpaste happens. Thanks, Clara. Now let's go over endothermic versus exothermic reactions. Endothermic means heat is absorbed, and exothermic means that heat is released. Our experiment has an exothermic reaction, so be ready for some heat. And lastly, don't forget, if an elephant can brush their teeth, you can too. Here's what you'll need. Food coloring of your choice, a half cup of hydrogen peroxide, three tablespoons of warm water, liquid dish soap, and one tablespoon of dry yeast. Step one, add a half a cup of 3% hydrogen peroxide. If you have a higher percentage or lower percentage, that will do just fine. Step two, add a big squirt of liquid dish soap. Make sure that dish soap is palm olive, all right? <laughs> Step three, if you have, add a couple of drops of food coloring to give your elephant toothpaste a little flair. Step four, mix together. Step five, pour three tablespoons of warm water into a separate glass. Step six, add one tablespoon of dry yeast to the water. Don't forget to mix. Step seven, pour the water yeast mixture into the hydrogen peroxide mixture and get ready to see the reaction take place. And there it goes, your elephant toothpaste. There you have it. I hope you guys have fun trying it at home. Now, let's see how our team did with it. Here it comes, guys. And there you have it. Elephant toothpaste, the exothermic reaction. It's gonna be hot because it's giving off heat because of that O2 trapped in the, in the liquid dish soap. But look how beautiful. 
I hope you have a good time doing this yourself at home and make sure to be safe when you're cleaning it up and let the foam cool before you clean it up as well. And there's your elephant toothpaste. Yay! So as you can see, the experiment did work. So it's really cool. You should all try this at home and make sure to remember to clean up the area after you're done with your experiment. Thank you.